I'm back with my Friday favorites for you today and I have some fun products, um, a new product, some products to update you on, and some random stuff. So let's go ahead and get into my Friday favorites. Okay, so the first product is something that I have been needing the past probably two weeks and I have gotten oily and I never get oily. I am always very, very dry like my all of my skin is just dry I get dry patches everywhere um, and apparently August has brought on the oiliness in me and I've needed a powder and the powder that I have gone to is the MAC mineralized skin finish natural and I am in medium plus um, this stuff is the best literally it is so amazing I top it on my foundation I've been topping it on every foundation lately just to it helps lock my foundation in so it doesn't just slide off my face from my oiliness that I've been having which is super random but um it just locks my foundation in a place it adds a little bit of coverage it's just perfect like it really is the perfect powder I I just love it it's so finely milled it doesn't make me look cakey it doesn't make me look like I'm wearing too much makeup. Um, I just love it. It's really, really nice. It's the best powder that I have probably ever tried. I really do like the Revlon Nearly Naked powder as well, um, but this one is just the best. Love it, love it, love it. And again, I'm in medium plus. Okay, the next thing is actually an update. I wanted to update you guys. I had mentioned this in a Friday favorite. Something that I didn't like about this product, but I did like the product. Um, it is the Too Faced Naturalized palette. And I had said that the first time I wore this, it creased. It creased. Eyeshadow never creases on me, and it creased. Um, but I've been playing around a ton with it. And I decided to keep it because um, I had said maybe in that video that I was like, I don't know if I should keep it. It creases. Um, eyeshadows never crease on me. Um, but I actually um, decided I have a bunch of samples and a bunch of the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow primers. So I've been actually priming my lids and then doing a base color and then doing um, the eyeshadows and it's been really really good so it's unfortunate that I have to take that extra step um, but it does help and it does completely prevent the creasing of the eyeshadows but I, I really do like this palette I think it's a really pretty palette I've been wearing it a ton this one right down here cashmere bunny oh I just oh that is just a beautiful gray taupey color I just I love it they're really nice um I do love the colors and they're really they feel really really nice and smooth and like buttery feeling um I'm just disappointed that they kind of creased on me but if you do put an eyeshadow primer with a base you'll be good to go and those eyeshadows won't crease so I've been loving this palette it's a good one and I would check it out Something new that I picked up last week um, that I've been using and I'm in love with, it is the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. And I had used the Garnier one and I thought that was maybe the culprit of my skin problems. Um, and I was really, really, really nervous to try another oil. But I read all the ingredients and I saw people use it and I did a bunch of research on it. I decided to pick it up because I just thought it would make my nighttime skincare routine a little bit quicker. Getting off and breaking up all my makeup on my face takes a long time with those up and up cleansing wipes. I usually have to use two of them and it takes a long time and you're rubbing and rubbing and I don't know if I'm rubbing it into my skin and that kind of creeps me out. So I decided to pick this up and it is so amazing. It's by far way better than the Garnier one. Um, it literally, it feels very cooling on your face. Um, and as you rub it in, it just breaks up everything. You really, like especially with my eye makeup, I barely have to like rub it in and it just melts everything off, especially my mascara and that is something that I feel like I'm always like working at and I hate tugging at my eyes at all but this one I don't have to it literally I just slightly rub it on and it just melts it right off it is so good I love it it makes your skin feel really cooling and nice and fresh and clean afterwards um, I definitely go in with a cleanser after this though 
just to really cleanse my skin but this is such a great makeup remover oh I just love it it's so good again it's the makeup breakup cool cleansing oil it's really awesome and I love that it comes with a pump too so this is amazing love it Okay, the next item is an oldie but goodie for me. I've used this for probably over a year and a half, um, but this isn't the same one. I've used, I've used like a couple. Um, but this is the Lush Ocean Salt, and this is a face and body scrub. And I mostly use this for my body. I don't really use this for my face. I actually decided to try it on my face one day, and it was just a little too abrasive and it didn't feel right on my skin, on my actual like facial skin. Um, but I use this on my body and I've just been loving it. I feel like it just makes my skin really smooth and soft and buttery. And I feel like I just need extra exfoliating lately, especially because it's hot out and I'm sweating and it's just, I feel gross. And when I go in the shower, I just want to get all of it off and this definitely helps. And I love the scent of it. It smells like a beach. Like it just, it smells like a beach. It's just so much fun. And it's that fun blue color. Um, I know it has avocado in it. Yes, I believe it has avocado in it. And I feel like the avocado really just like helps keep your skin really moisturized after you use this so it feels like your skin is smooth and buttery and soft and I just love this product it's a really good one it's a fun one for summer so I'm trying to use it up before we head into fall which I'm so excited about let me tell you okay the last product is a really really random product and it's mostly for contact wears um, I have used this my mom has used this she actually told me to start using this um, a very very long time ago like in middle school or whenever I got glasses. Um, this is the Supra Cleanse. This is a daily protein remover for your um, contacts. And what I do is I put one drop in each of my contact little case there at night um, with my contact you know, whatever that stuff is, contact solution. Um, I put one drop of that with that and it just like, I feel like it just removes everything off of my contacts that are on my contacts. All the buildup that happens throughout the day, I get really dry eyes, like my eyes get really dry and they itch a lot and I'm always touching them, which always smudges my makeup, but I love this because I think it prevents that. I think it prevents, you know, me getting dry eyes and that buildup that happens on your contacts, which I feel like in the long run makes your contacts last a little bit longer than they should, um, which sometimes I wear them a little too long and I probably should throw them away, but I think this helps. So the Supra Cleanse, this is the daily protein, try to get in there, come on. Um, it's just really good. I really like it. It's not the cheapest thing. It's like 10 bucks for this little bottle, but you only need one drop per contact. So love this stuff. Really, really good. And I suggest it if you have contacts. Okay, guys. So that is it for my Friday favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, next week, I will definitely have some skincare videos up. I will have my Get Unready With Me, my nighttime skincare routine. And I will also have another skincare video up on Monday. So that'll be super exciting and look forward to those. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.